everyone and welcome back to Star Maid and welcome back to my little cruiser here under construction and yeah and this episode is going to be kind of a tutorial episode because I recently added a airlock to my ship it's right here in front of me right here at this little gap at the hull and yeah i added some cool features to this airlock let me quickly demonstrate this down here i have added a button and a little screen and a light that is turned off so if i activate this button as you can see the light starts to blink and the airlock opens itself so this is kind of a warning light also here inside of the airlock there is a warning light and uh, when i open this airlock i can enter the ship and here as you can see we have two additional buttons one for the internal blaster this one and one for the external blaster and if i press the button right over here as you can see the door stay closed so as long as this door is open this airlock here this blast door stays closed which is pretty useful because <laughs> i cannot kill everybody here on board as long as this door is open so let's close the external door first and now we can open the internal door as you can see the warning light is still or is on again so and if i press this button here as you can see the door the external door stays closed which is pretty cool pretty useful so and from here i can uh lock the internal blast door and everything is fine i'm on board of my ship and yeah of course it also works the other way around i can open this blast door i can go inside of the airlock and if I activate this, uh, the internal door will be closed and from here I can open the external door and of course also this way I cannot open the internal door again as long as the other one is open. And let's close the external door and I'm outside in space. And yeah, some nice security features for this airlock and over this episode I'd like to explain how this actually works, the logic system behind this. Alright, I just moved over to a little testing platform here inside of my uh, dock below my spaceship, my cruiser. And over here I want to rebuild the, the logic system for this airlock and this thing up here represents in the airlock so uh, just pre let's pretend this is the interior of the ship the internal blast or the airlock itself a warning light the external blast or and space so uh yeah i yeah by the way i i tweeted a sketch about the logic system i'm going to build now recently so you probably already know it when you follow me on twitter uh, if not i going to put a link into the video description below to the sketch because uh i think it will help you to if you like to rebuild the airlock system so let's start with the first or the easiest part i going to add buttons over here because i want to open the blast door from from yeah from inside of the ship and i want to close it from inside of the airlock and i will do this with the help of buttons like i said let's put one over here and one over there and also of course with the external door one over here and one over there and the flip-flop block because uh, as you make imagine if you activate this or select this by pressing c and uh, connecting the blaster to it by pressing v and now you activate this as you can see the the airlock will stay open or it will be just closed for a couple of seconds so uh, for this we are going to need a flip-flop lock i will put the flip-flop lock down there let's deselect this 
uh, flip flop. There you are. And also, of course, over there. And the flip flop will be connected to the blast door. Let's do it here as well. And then I will simply connect each button to the flip flop lock. Yeah, remember the flip flop lock will only uh, react um, when it receives a, a kind of a positive signal or a on signal. So when I turn this on, the flip flop lock is turned on. Uh, of course, now it will work because the door is only open when uh, the logic block that is connected to the door is is uh, is turned off. Then the door is open. That's the reason why you need to uh, activate one button one time to make this work. But then it works every time to push the button. So. Uh, now I've opened the door, I can go inside of the airlock and by pressing this button I can close the door, I can go to the next one. Uh, we need to press it twice for the same reason. Now it's open, I can leave the ship and I can press this button and the external door is closed. And of course when I want to go back, I open this, I go through, I ignore that the door is open and now congratulations, I killed everybody on board because yeah. Both doors are open. So, how to solve this? This is, yeah, it took me a, a, a few tries to figure this out. So, let's close this. Uh, let's remove the connections to the flip flop block. Like this, like that. So, uh, the next thing I'm going to add to make this work are ORs and AND blocks because the idea behind this is this door here should only open when it receives a signal from this button or from this button and from this flip-flop block. So and that pretty much explains what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to add a OR block so the the R blocks this one is is it the right one? Yeah, it's an R signal, and yeah, it's a bit bright over here. I, I was not sure if I have taken the right one. So now I'm going to add a and block this one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to connect this button. To the R block. Now we've got a signal from here or from there. We'll activate this and this is going to be connected to the end block. So and this one is connected to the end block as well and this one is going to be connected over here. So that means like I said when this flip-flop lock receives a signal from this button or that button, the R block or that button, and from this flip-flop lock, this door will open itself. So let's give it a try. As you can see, yeah, it opens now and now it, it will be closed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build the exact same thing over here as well. Okay, I just added a OR block and AND block over here as well and connected uh, everything uh, with each other in the same way like I did over here. And now you have added all you need to be able to open just one door at the time. Let me quickly demonstrate this. So let's say you want to leave the ship. You press this button. The door opens. Remember, because this AND blocks, block receives a signal from this button and this flip-flop. Now you can go inside of the, the airlock and if you want to open this door, it won't work. Why? We have now a deactivated flip-flop block over here. And that means that the ANTS 
uh, end block here do not receive a the second signal that is necessary to change the state of this flip-flop block so this flip-flop block will be not deactivated so we just need to close this door here first because now we have a active flip-flop block over here and when this end signal also receives a signal from this button this door will open and now this one is deactivated and we cannot open this door yes because this end signal only receives one signal from here from this button so yeah this is logic <laughs> logic in starmate so yeah let's close the door and the next thing i want to build is the warning light which is actually pretty simple we just need to add a a and block over here this way and now i'm going to add this and that flip-flop block to the end block because we want this warning light to be not active when this end block receives a signal from both flip-flop blocks and that means the next block we need is an up block so let's add an up block over here yes so they are already connected in the right way so let's turn this on because this is the right state when we receive signals from both flip-flop blocks and this of course the not block should be should be off and the next thing i'm going to add is is, is a clock basically a clock so for this i'm going to take a activation block and right below the activation block now yeah, let's 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 deselect this sorry let's deselect this i'm going to add a button this way then we need another end block over here and a rotator uh, it doesn't matter which which way just just one of these guys here and and oh sorry uh, I quickly need to change them something I've forgotten to set the controls here I was uh, still on my MacBook setup there I use a different key for advanced build mode and let's take move the rotator until it points upwards okay so what I'm gonna do now is I going to connect this activation block with this button and with this end block and this button is going to be connected to this end signal so when this activation blocks activates this button and the end signal this rotator will be activated and uh, now I'm going to yeah we'll, I, I will just dock a, a, a core on top of it and um, yeah with, with, with the rail docker and this whole thing is kind of a clock yeah let me quickly do this I'm going to leave the ship I will press X now to open or to activate a a core uh, sorry <laughs> to uh, let's press space no we are already in build mode yeah to put it put a new core in space as a new ship and now I'm going to add the rail docker to it we just need the right orientation uh, sorry it's a bit hard to say from here yeah looks good so now we need to add the rail docker to down down here we need to select this and dock to this whole thing all right okay I'm going to leave this now going to enter this core for my little testing area here and yeah let me quickly show what this thing do for activate this activation module 
Well, nothing happens because that's that's a good question. Ah, because I've forgotten to connect the end block to this block, and now it should work. Let's turn this off. Let's turn this on. Yeah, as you can see, the the uh, block starts to rotate, and every time it rotates, it sends in a a new signal, a impulse. And that keeps this button active. And as long as this activation block is active and this button here receives constant signals, uh, both will turn on the end block and that will turn on the the rotator and will cause another rotation, will turn on the, the, the button and so on, that so on. That's that's the 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 clock thing. And now I want to add this to this blinking, uh, to this light. And then it starts to blink. Yeah. And of course, let's turn this off because we only want this to be active when one door is open. So, and it should work like this now. If I activate this button here, yeah, as you can see, this one turns off. That means that the end block turns off and the that caused the end, uh, the not block to be active and that activates the clock and that activates this this little warning light and if I close so yeah let's say I step inside of the airlock I close the door and then the light turns off and also if I open this one the light starts to blink I want to run back into the ship but this will not work as long as I close the door the light will blink again and so on and so on yeah that's pretty much the way how the the airlock at my ship works and yeah I really like this little rotator thing I, I added this to the airlock system as well yeah I haven't sh uh, shown you this uh, yeah this is pretty cool um, I'm going to do this now because we are pretty much done here. This is the, the logic system behind the airlock. Remember, I tweeted a sketch also about this. So uh, th I think this is a very easy way if you take my sketch to, uh, if you like to rebuild this. But yeah, let me quickly jump back to the airlock here on board of my ship. Yeah, I'm back at my ship. And yeah, at the end of this episode, let's have a, a, a last view inside of my, my airlock. If I press this button, remember, I can open the airlock. This will turn on the blinking light. And down there, you can see the, the yeah, it's, it's kind of a clockwork working down there as kind of a mechanical control part for the whole airlock system. And yeah, let's close the door. Let's open the internal door. Let's go inside. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope it is a, a nice help and give you some ideas to build your own cool airlock system with nice security warning kind of features. And yeah, finally, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.